This is the pole dancing teacher who offers classes to eight-year-olds as a fun way to exercise. But this type of Keep Fit for Children has caused quite a storm of mixed reaction. Uh, so today we're joined by child psychologist Emma Kenny. She's on Skype. Uh, she says kiddie pole dancing is horrendous. Uh, and also the instructor who set up the lesson, Zoe Hardy, along with two of the mums, uh, Lisa and Lorraine, whose children attend the classes. Girls, thank you so Good much morning. for coming in today. Um, Zoe, I want to come to you first. <laughs> Where did this come from? Because you, you were a fitness instructor, weren't you? That's right. Yeah, I'm a fitness instructor. So where did, where did you think, oh, this is what I'm going to do? Um, well, basically, I took an interest in the pole uh, fitness industry and um, decided to take the classes myself. And um, as we progressed the adult classes, we then got an interest in the juniors wanting to take part as well. So as we um, set up at um, Step Up Studio um, at Sutton Ashfield, they um, then asked us if we wanted to do take junior classes and we only took adult classes at the time and then um, we said if we get enough interest in the juniors wanting to participate we will set up a class for them so that's why we started at the and junior classes. When you say you were getting an interest was this the juniors had, had they been able to see the classes going on and thought well, that looks fun or was it from yeah. well, mums like, like Lorraine and, and Lisa here? Yeah, that's right. Um, because we have to set up and everything at the studio they do the dance classes at, they took an interest in what we was doing and um, they you know, got to see some of the stuff we was uh, doing yeah. and was like they wanted to have a go at it. One, one thing I just want to say, we've just got to clear this up because this is what you say, it's pole fitness, not pole dancing. Yeah. Uh, let's, after, I think we should have a little look. Yes, we've well, got the yeah. girls here. We've got, we've, got, um, we've got Tilly Mae, who's eight, Mia, who's 11, and Timia, who's eight. And they're going to show us what their pole fitness classes are all about. OK, girls, you take it away. Well, well, we done, girls. well done, girls. I have to say, it looks oh. such hard work. Yeah, it's really hard work. Um, obviously, the criticism is always going to be, Ryland said you call it pole fitness, but most people call it pole dancing. And, you know, as mums, people are very concerned about, you know, over-sexualising our children, they're growing up too quickly. And the connotations of, of pole dancing are, you know, in clubs, girls with very little on in front of kind of men who maybe pay to see it. As mums of the girls there, why did you let them do this? Um, Tilly was bullied at school um, for being fat and not interested in what the other girls did. So it was advertised and I just asked her, I says, oh, look, this is advertised and it's another form of fitness. Would you like to give this one a try? Having tried normal dancing and other activities, she just never really stuck to it. She came to it and she's never looked back. And did you not... Were you not concerned? As no. That, that kind of, when you say to no, people, oh, the girls it's are pole fitness. Dance. When you actually see what they physically do, there's nothing prerogative. Lorraine, can I, can I <laughs> ask you, I mean, what do your family and friends think of you letting uh, Mia go, go to this class? Yeah, I mean, have you had all, any problems from them? Not really. They're all very supportive. I mean, she's done competitive gymnastics in the past, which is, I think is very similar to this. Well, so, it's, a, it's a pole yeah, or a bar yeah, that's just tried, the other way around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's tried lots of activities, so this was something new. She likes to challenge herself. So, why not? 